Where'd I put my glasses? Where'd I put my... Hi, everybody. It's uh, Mark Rushton of markrushtongallery.com. And I forgot my glasses. Not that you need to see me. But uh, anyway, it's um, it's Saturday, July 1st, 2023. Got a couple things going on here first. We'll get to this in a second here. Um, you know, obviously, if you like the video, think about liking it. Think about subscribing, all that goodness. I have a mailing list. Link is down below, markrushton.substack.com. I send out a weekly email about art, persevering in the arts. It's also has a little bit to do with my music as well. And also about my paintings. And so this is Loopy Gardens. Loopy Gardens. This is a painting that I finished last night. Link to it in the Mark Rushton Gallery is in the description. And uh, it's a little... You know, this is a 10 by 8 inch acrylic ink and acrylic paint on spun bonded olefin painting there. An abstract landscape. Very, you know. And it's available uh, framed or unframed. Unframed is the uh, most inexpensive way to buy my art. Very reasonable price. And uh, so it would be, you know, the painting here mounted to cardstock with Tyvek tape with a pre-cut mat and in a plastic sleeve, which I have a bunch over there. So, and then you could put, put it in your own frame. You like, you could say, you know, maybe you want to put, uh, put it in a black frame or a gray frame or something like that. Buy it unframed and frame it yourself. That works too. Blanks get the job done too. All right. Let's get going here. I'm going to put this in the, uh, in the portfolio. Now, I think I might take a little bit of... I might, I might take a little bit of a break here from painting. Uh, I've been doing a lot of live painting here and um, been producing, you know, a lot of really great work. A lot of really great work. You know, like uh, like these, some of these paintings here, you can't see everything because the, you know, the, but, you know, you get an idea here, the different types of paintings that I have. I have so many videos out there. Oh, that's so good. Blanket status. Late dusk. You know, I've got so many of these. And then I got, in addition to all of these paintings here, I have all the book paintings. And I'd love... Those are, in, you know, those are landscape. The, the book paintings are in uh, portrait mode, right? So in this case, okay, I'll just use the, the crappy one here. You know, it's, I'll pull this out here. Example here. You know, like that. Beautiful. Get that abstract landscape. It's got the, uh, the words kind of showing through from the, uh, from the books. I'm going to go through some of these here real quick, but, uh, and then we'll get to our thing, but I, I, I think these are great. These are interesting, very reasonably priced. Again, they can be framed or unframed. And one thing that I, uh, I'm trying, I'm going to try to do with taking a little break from painting is that I'm going to try to do videos where I'm showing these off and, uh, trying to sell them and trying to get, you know, a clientele. Uh, maybe a collector base, maybe people just uh, decided, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, I'd like something like that little spot in the, the kitchen or or wherever. That thing in the hallway where I need that splash of color or or a particular word sticking out, right? Or, you know, I like this sort of almost... Rothko-esque nonsense. You know? Oh, these are so good. 
the book painting series, you know? Yeah, it's kind of an abstract landscape with the Rothko effect. I like to call it the Rothko. Look at that. Wow. Playing around with, oh, man. Look at that. Decomposition of the additive tree. But, you know, they got to move, guys. They can't. They can't just be sitting around here in these little portfolios. And I need to show them off. Otherwise, who knows about them, right? So I'll do that here on this channel. And then I'm trying to start something else. Trying to start something else on a on another network. We'll see how that goes. You know, I like to experiment. Speaking of experimenting. I was at the thrift store today, and I can take this price tag off here, but I mean, so this has been in the store for a little over a month at $4.49. It had another sticker on it that said it was complete. So everything, now oh, this is going to be trouble. This is going to be trouble. No, no, I get it. Peel slowly and see. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Get that out. To get that residual off there. Art, art out of the box. And I barely opened it up. And I was like, this is something that I think maybe I'd like to unbox live on YouTube. It looked kind of interesting. What is it? tape here on the bottom so let's look at the bottom here bring this in a little bit so you can read along with me unleash hundreds of drawing possibilities pick a subject add a technique reinvent the world with your imagination right so you got a subject card a technique card equals art so this reminds me sort of not exactly. And look at this. It's only 2019. Wait, it says also 2021. This thing's only a couple years old for ages six and up. What is this? All you need is a pencil and a paper and a dinosaur and an alien and a tiger. This must be for kids. But you know what? I love kids art. Um, so let's play around with it. Let's just, let's just see whether or not. whether or not this is any good, right? Art out of the box. How to, uh, this is like oblique strategies. That thing that Brian Eno and the other guy made, those cards in the 1970s and, you know, kind of spurring creativity or taking you down a different path. That's what it seemed like to me. It seemed like it was kind of like oblique strategies, but for art projects. Pick a subject card and then a technique card and get drawing. Wait a second. Let me get, let me get some paper here. Let's, what else, what about, what, okay, what do I need here? I had no idea what I needed to get going with. Oh, I got so much crap here. It'd be so much easier if I just sold all this crap. Get out of here. Don't eat it. We could do, what do you want to do? Do small, small little bits. Let's do some small. No, let's do, do tall. Let's do small. small. Let's get small. I got this here. That's very nice. So we've got a subject. We got a technique. Why would somebody, hold on here. Hold on, guys. Camera. Come on, camera. There we go. We're good. All right. So pick a subject card, pick a technique card, and then get the drawing. Where is my... I got some pencils around here, but I've also got vine charcoal, which, you know, I love that vine charcoal. Okay. Move this back here. 
Subject and technique. So I'm just going to pick the top one here. Subject. Technique. All right, subject. Night bite. Aren't your teeth amazing and weird? Draw all the sharp ones. Imagine you're a scary vampire with pointy teeth. A technique card. Stick up. Stick something on your drawing and make it part of your scene. Okay. Aren't your teeth amazing? Draw all the sharp ones. Hmm. All right. Let's let's get to work here. This will be a fun little exercise. Aren't your teeth amazing and weird? And they're all, mine are all filled with amalgam and other things. All right. So let's just just kind of uh, draw all the sharp ones. All oh, my teeth are kind of. <laughs> Do dang diddly dung there. All right, get, to, get, to, get, to, get, to get the sharp ones. There we go. And then we got the down here, and then you got the that, and then you got the. <laughs> and then let's just down down like that, right? Get your mouth. And you, uh, is that right? Is it, am I doing this right here? I feel like I didn't do this right here. Stick up, stick something on your drawing and make it part of your scene. Um, gosh, so I got that. That's kind of your mouth. And there's your, there's your tongue in there. And there's your big honking nose. Your nostrils. Oh, this is no good. fat right so what are we going to do here how are we going to do this you get part of your ears and then you got your like a little bit of your hair you know and then all right so stick up stick something on your drawing and make it part of the scene hmm. what am i gonna what am i gonna put on here bit of that go and then uh what what am i going to put on here stick, stick something on your drawing and make it part of your scene uh, well gosh let's let's you know stick something on your drawing and make it part of the scene doesn't i don't have to draw something right let's make it we we'll use what you got Right, I got the ink. It's gonna mess with the ink here, and let's see what we can get. Right, there you go. Get your ink. And then let's do. Um, Yellow is always tough, unless it's. Uh, Unless it's by itself. So in this case, yellow <coughs> will be by itself. I'll probably mix in some blue and accidentally we'll have green. Green. So this will be yellow. And we're going to mix in some. Uh, looks like we're going to mix in a little bit of the. Uh, Do that. And then <coughs> flesh, flesh color. What are we going to do for, I don't think I have any flesh color. Uh, I don't have any of that. We could make him kind of reflex orange, I guess. I don't know. Uh, orange, let's do this. Meaning of that. Now I'm kind of overdoing it, you know, but that's all right. Makes it kind of humorous. All 
And then let's, well, I've got too much red. Make his tongue red. Are tongues really that red? I don't think they're really that red. The inside of your mouth. Ah! And your lips. I don't know, it's kind of goofy. It's going to get a goofy thing going on there. Should we make... How far else? This is kind of nuts. Um... Let's make him kind of red face there, right? Kind of. Then we'll bring back the drawing here. teeth got your tongue all the stuff going on in there yeah, yeah that's good ah. all right there we go night bite okay so night bite and stick up yeah draw all the sharp ones imagine you're a scary vampire with pointy teeth well some of his teeth are pointy stick up stick something on your drawing and make it part of your scene in this case i gave him an orange shirt red face blue background so it looks kind of comical, and that's kind of fun. Let's do one more. That was kind of fun. That kind of took me in a direction that I wouldn't normally uh, go. Take a look at that there. That's kind of crazy. Next one. Let's pick something from uh, a little further down inside the box here. Some of these are uh, look like they've been. Uh, let's do that. Technique. We're gonna do, we'll do this. All right. Here's our two things we're gonna do. Maybe I should just do these. I just like each one will just every night a different card, and then I'm gonna try and sell a painting. All right. I'm not trying to sell these. These are just like subject. And this is just not the easiest way to get your stuff out. It's not easy to get these cards out. There we go. All right. Subject and technique. Subject is name games. Draw all the things that you can find that start with the first letter of your name. Pose for a portrait with all your objects. Oh, that's that's great. And then uh, technique. Uh, draw without lifting your pen, pencil, or brush up from the paper. Ooh. That's a tough one there. So draw all the things you can find that start with the first letter of your name. M. What's it's M. My name's Mark. Um... Do I have anything around here that draw all the things you can find? Well, I've, mm, I'm trying to look for all the things with M. Oh, man. Ink. Ink begins with I. Com computer monitor. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to, I guess I have to draw myself in here. Right? So I'm just going to. What do I look like these days? You know, kind of that guy. You know, that guy with the... And that guy with the the clothes and the shoes and the the short hair these days. 
the big smeary face. Lost a little bit of weight here in the last couple of years. Just kind of got a normal size again. That's good. It's good. It's Carl Lagerfeld says, go up, don't go down. I right, go down, don't go up. So there I am. There's old Rushton hanging out. What do I want to draw? I want to draw. I want to draw M. So M is Mark. And um, I said computer monitor. Monitor. So I guess I'll draw a... I guess I'll draw, I can't draw a desk. I'll draw a, right? So we'll just kind of, we'll draw one of those curved monitors that I'd always like to have, right? So like something like that. And then kind of the, you know, kind of the base. There's the, you know, I don't have a Mac, but um, I guess I could draw a Mac on here. What do Macs look like these days? Right. This they look like they look like monitors, right? The IMAX. Uh, what else? What else do we have around here that's got uh, the letter M? Uh, uh, I don't really paper towels, glass cleaner, tape, hardware hooks. I don't really have M. M. We'll just do that. We'll just do that, right? Oh, wait, I was supposed to draw without uh, lifting my pen from my paper. Well, I kind of did that, you know. Maybe I could find something else that uh, um, that begins with the letter M. Man, I can't find it. I could see how this would be a little tough here, you know. Let's color this in here. Let's just not leave this like this. Um, I'm going to leave, I'm going to put like a, kind of like a, a mouse. A mouse. There's a mouse. Right? And then we'll put like a little here. There's no mice in this house, but we'll we'll put a little mouse tail here. That's a mouse. And then we'll have a little little desk. There we go. All right. Let's get some color in here and see what's going on. What do I want to do with the background? Um, let's just stick with these colors here. Uh, you know how I love the flame orange, so let's go with flame orange. Maybe we could try to do that with the uh, with the ink. Don't. Don't lift your don't lift your paper towel. I guess this is like drawing, you know. Kind of like drawing. Just make a mess. Go around you. Go around the mouse. Oh, you lifted, you broke the rules. Describe yourself in three words. I am a rebel. <laughs> so there's that. And then we're gonna have to do something else here. We'll make we'll make the computer display blue. How about that? You know, wear blue jeans. I'm gonna wear blue jeans today. And then my shirt, my shirt will be my shirt will be green. Why not? And then the desktop is going to be I'm going to have something here that's terrible. This pearlescent black that I do not like. A little bit on there. Going to smear that around. Oh, I can't see that mouse anymore. Can't see the mouse. Oh, that's all right. Just playing around with this. All right. Goofing around. Well, that was a little... It was... We'll keep, I'll keep at it. Okay, so... That one wasn't as successful here. But the first one... Draw your teeth. Draw your pointy teeth. And then stick something in the drawing to make it part of the scene. So in this case, I drew my teeth. And then I drew teeth. And then I drew a big 
red face. And then I drew kind of a background there of uh, the sky and then like a big orange shirt. This guy breathing down your neck, right? And then this one, well, I drew me, which is not me. And then I drew a monitor and I drew a mouse and I drew a mouse. Yeah, that's good. Well, this is interesting. Um, we'll see where it takes us. We'll see where it takes us here. Uh, kind of fun, kind of a diversion from the usual nonsense that I'm doing, right? Let's put this down here and we'll get the, uh, we'll get the um, thumbnail, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, uh, yeah, just trying to figure out where to go next with regard to the art because um, um, it's, it's, it's kind of, I, I think maybe it's time to take a little bit of break from making art. I got other things going on in my life too, that um, I need to focus on, uh, you know, getting rid of some of the catalog and showing that off on a regular basis. And trying different ways to figure out how to market the art. Make it affordable, maybe offer like a bunch of pieces for a re, uh, a one price, you know? So you, you pick like five pieces. You're like, here's five pieces, right? And then all you got to do is like, I don't offer, I offer them without frames or something like that. There's a lot of different ways to do it. And then it's just like, hey, you get your uh, you get your ready-made thing or pick five. We could do that. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this evening. Thanks for hanging out with me. Kind of a fun game, but I'm not used to drawing. So uh, push me in another direction, I guess. I don't know. That's it for this evening. Talk to you later.